have you ever taken the 16 personalities test? Yeah. The Myers-Briggs yeah, one? Yeah, of course. Um, so I'm, I'm a, they, they, I took the test. I've t taken it four times now, actually. Wait, I wonder I'm, if I can guess what you are. Take a guess. It's probably obvious with what I just shared. <laughs> e in. Yeah. If. Yeah. ENFP. Yeah, 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 okay. Campaigner. So it's funny because when I read it again, literally this weekend, it was just so spot on. But I, the question I want to ask you is be like, how, how, how much do you pay attention to that? And then number two, the things that they say you're weak on, right? In that personality test, do you, you have, what's your take on improving those or simply focusing more on the strengths? So for example, for context, right? Campaigners, ENFPs, uh, like super, uh, you know, I don't know what the super, my strengths are, I really get inspired and I really just, I, I do sprints, right? When I get inspired on something and I get an idea, I wanna make it happen now, I go do it. Like the admin mastermind, I had the idea, had the branding, had the concept. I was like, oh, we're gonna do it. And we launched it and it was a success. But the problem is the focus on the follow through once the inspiration wears off a little bit, right? Mm. And that's something that I've seen happen in my life plenty of times with ideas and then I act on them and then I don't follow them through uh, as long as I've saw, I, for as long as I need to for the for the end goal of the vision, if that makes sense. But then my strengths are really good. I can come up with ideas. I'm really creative. I have the the personal uh, brand, I guess, in terms of like the communication and, and being a leader and, and saying, guys, we're going to come do this. Come join me. I'm going to I'm gonna, like, let's go do this. Um, so my question really is like for you, have you ever like paid attention to those to where you're thinking like, well, I got to work on these weaknesses or are you more of like, let me just have someone who can help me with these weaknesses, who focus on these weaknesses so I can just focus on my strengths. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. Um, so you definitely need to be aware of them. Yeah. And your business and your strategy and everything that you're doing should be aligned to your strengths, right? Mm. Just like me, I'm an INTJ. Which is the, is that So the... you're extrovert, so the E and I is so extrovert, introvert. Oh, so E and, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, and then N and S means like intuition or like rules. Mm. So you're more, you're the intuition, intuition. same with me. So yeah. we're the same on that, we're opposite on the E, I. Then the um, F and T is feeling and thinking. Do you feel your way through choices or do you think? Mm. So I'm hard jammed on T, I'm like 98% T. You I could tell you yeah. were an F. Really? Yeah, I can just tell. <laughs> um, and then the last one, J or P, is like, do you, are you good at planning and structuring and scheduling and and organizing, or do you prefer to just kind of just let it go? Mm. So you're a P. That means you prefer to let it go. Yeah. So you're just like you probably would like to not have a plan for next week. Yeah, well, that's the funny part, man, because I always I always want to structure things because I feel like some things aren't structured as much as they need to be for my life. But then when they're too structured or too routine, I just want to go to the fucking beach and I'm like, dude, I just need to get out and like, yeah. go 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 get into my gut and go feel. Yeah, so if you're, you should play to your strengths, which would be like interaction with people. That's extra. For sure, yeah. You need to have interaction with people. You're yeah. never going to be happy just analyzing a Google no. sheet, right? Yeah. You need to be creative. That's the end. Yep. You need to, um, feeling is important to you, which is probably why you like video. Yeah. Because it is a very high bandwidth channel of communication that carries emotion. Mm. Unlike a lot of text and stuff, it is it is about emotion, yeah. And then the, the thing I think you'd have to worry about them, you just worry about the opposite side. So we almost have like opposite sides. But like someone that is too extroverted probably isn't paying attention to the details. Yeah. But someone that's too introverted probably isn't getting out there enough, right? Mm. And then intuition, someone that's too like yes means they're probably not creative enough. Too creative means that operations are probably yeah. falling apart, Yeah. right? Because things are just constant creation. Then there's just shit that needs to be done day in, day out that the, the creative person was terrible at. Yeah. Feeling and thinking, I mean, thinking is really great at logic and structure and math and all of that and strategy, 
but too much of that and people don't connect with what you're doing. Yeah. So too much tea and like it's soulless kind of in a way. Too much F, it's often lacking some of that logic or thought. You know what mm. I mean? And then the last one, just PJ, it's more like, you know, I have I used to actually get a P. And then the more I've been in business and I'm like a CEO, so I have to schedule and plan and do all of this. Mm-hmm. I've had to train that muscle. And in recent years, I actually check it again and it's, it's coming up J. Wow. So I would just understand that first yeah. and then look at your business and think where where are my like where is my personality blocking us mm. right mm-hmm. and you you should also play to your strengths I'm never going to be a stage speaker mm-hmm. because yeah. I'm introverted <laughs> right like that ain't happening so. but you're also going out and and doing more like in person stuff right for school so you're you're also training it right now in a way right to get out of your comfort zone. Yeah, this zone a is the bit. hard part, right? <laughs> so like I'm playing to my strengths because I'm building a software platform. Yeah. Which is what I'm it's behind the scenes and analytical and everything, right? Mm-hmm. However, I also need to be aware of the fact that I would like to just hide. Mm. <laughs> but I need to get out there too. People need to find out about school. Yeah. So I have to also get outside of my comfort zone. So that's what I'm getting at here. Your business should play to your strengths, but you have to be mindful of, you can't just purely play to your strengths. You also have to like cover your weaknesses. Yeah. And you should also bring in people around you to cover those areas. 